What's up YouTube, this is iTweaks here, and I know it's a little late, but today I'm going to be showing you guys how to jailbreak iOS 6.0.1. Now this is only going to work for 4th generation iPods, the iPhone 4, and iPhone 3GS. This is also going to be the first step if you want to downgrade back to iOS 5.1.1 and you don't have your SHSH blob saved on your computer. Now you may ask, why would I want to downgrade back to 5.1.1 if you're about to show me how to jailbreak 6.0.1? Well, the answer is the jailbreak I'm about to show you for 6.0.1 is semi-untethered. If you downgrade back to 5.1.1, then you can be completely untethered. Now, the second question, what is semi-untethered? This means that when you reboot your phone or iPod or it dies, you're able to turn it back on and still use everything on the phone other than the mobile Safari app, the native mail app, and Cydia. Everything else will work, so you'll still have functionality on the road if your phone dies or you accidentally reboot it. Once you get back to your computer, just reboot it with Red Snow and everything is back to full functionality. A workaround is just using the Google Chrome app instead of Safari and Gmail instead of the native mail app. If you need more information about this, just Google semi-untethered and you can check it out for yourself. Now before we get started, there's going to be two things you're going to need. First is going to be Red Snow version 9.15 beta 3 and the second is going to be iOS 6.0 IPSW, which is just the iOS software. Now notice I said 6.0 IPSW, not 6.01. So make sure you get 6.0. Now I've done that and I have both of them on my desktop. So let's just open up Red Snow. And there's going to be two buttons here. Jailbreak and extras. Make sure your phone is connected to your computer. And it should say right here, so connected iPhone, then it'll give you the build. So just go ahead and click on extras. And then we're going to select IPSW right here. So we got clicked on that and now we're going to go to our desktop and we're just going to point it to the 6.0 IPSW. So just click open. It's going to say that the build was identified, so go ahead and click OK. And then we're going to click back, and then we're going to click on jailbreak. Now it's going to do a little stuff right here, and then it's going to give you uh, an option to check a couple things. I always just leave it as install Cydia right here, and then I click next and then you're gonna to have to put it in DFU mode. If you don't know what DFU mode is, I'll show you right now. All you have to do is make sure your phone is plugged in and turn your phone off. And then once it's off, all you're gonna do is hold the power button and the home button for 10 seconds and then you're gonna let go of the power button and let it go into DFU mode. And you'll know it goes into DFU mode because on your computer It'll, it'll start the, uh, the jailbreaking process. So let's go ahead and do that. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let go of the power button. Continue holding the home button. And there it's going. And you might just want to hold on to the home button until it goes through the uploading first stage. Now you can let go. Now it's jailbreaking. Alright guys, so it should be done here. Let's check it out. And as you can see, there is no Cydia app. So in order to get that, you actually have to use the Just Boot function within Red Snow. And I'll show you how to do that next. Alright, so after it's done jailbreaking, all you have to do is put your phone back into DFU mode. Then open up Red Snow again. And double check to make sure that your IPSW selected is 6.0. Click Open. It'll say it's identified again, and then just hit Just Boot. Alright, and you should be good to go, so just go ahead and slide it unlock. Well, it does some, the first time you boot it does take a little while. Oh, there it goes. Go ahead and slide it unlock. 
there's Cydia then you're good to go and just to show you there's version 6.0.1 so I hope you guys enjoyed this if it helped you out please hit that like button and favorite this video if you have any questions or it's not working for you just leave a comment and I'll try to help you out if you'd like to see more of my tutorials reviews and tweaks hit that subscribe button below so until next time guys peace